7 verses 1 to 6. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye, 
and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye. How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. Word of Life We use the inductive Bible study method in my access groups. This inductive method involves three steps. First, we observe the assigned passage. Second, we interpret the passage. Lastly, we apply the passage to our lives. Most people consider the application the easiest part of the process, since it brings to life the abstract principles we gathered from the text. But the application is hard. We sometimes don't do it right. Instead of applying scripture to our own personal walk with Christ, we would often rather apply it to other people's lives. I have noticed this in myself. Whenever the Lord gives me insights during my Bible reading, my first reaction is to think, how can I explain this idea in a sermon? I notice that it's often easier for me to preach the Bible to others than to have it shape my own convictions and decisions. There is nothing wrong with wanting others to hear God's message, but sometimes we forget that God's Word should first transform us before we can share it with others. Jesus reminds us of this truth in today's passage. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but does not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your own eye, when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Why is it so easy for us to share God's message with other people instead of having it shape and transform us first? I think one reason is that we want others to live in a way that benefits us. If everyone around us would imitate Christ and become loving, kind, and generous, then we would benefit from their Christ-like love, kindness, and generosity. However, there is a way to maximize the value of God's Word in our lives. We won't gain much from Scripture if all we do is share its message with others. We must embrace and obey it in our personal lives. The insights we gain from God's Word are like fine pearls. We must learn to treasure them in our hearts instead of just giving them away. That is why Jesus reminds us in the following verse. Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. Christ's instructions are not unnecessary burdens that we have to comply within our Christian life. Rather, they are the words of eternal life. Let us make it our priority to have Christ's instructions saturate our minds and transform our hearts first before sharing it with others. 
Reflection Jesus says in today's passage, Do not judge. He is not saying that we should never discern between right and wrong. Otherwise, that would contradict many of Christ's other teachings. Rather, Christ is saying that we shouldn't criticize others harshly, especially if we ourselves are not living up to the same standards. Why do you think it's important for us to focus on our own spiritual life first before trying to fix other people? If we prioritize our obedience to Christ, how effective and fruitful would be in our ministry and witness others? How do you think Christ's example of perfect obedience can encourage us to grow in our own walk with Him? Prayer Lord, help us grow in our walk with You. Teach us to obey your commands in everything we do. Guide us so that we may have eyes to see the beauty of your righteousness and purity. Fill us, Holy Spirit, that we may gain the strength to live lives worthy of the gospel. Teach us the ways of Christ and help us become more and more like him every day. In Jesus' name, Amen.